Yonder spoilers reveal that Sharon Newman seems to be on a spiral of uncontrollable mental illness when she begins to take instructions from a character she imagines to be Cameron Kirsten. However, things get a lot more complicated when Sharon realizes that Cameron is just a manifestation of her worst impulses and thoughts. Although Cameron is always there to offer advice, it is not advice that is beneficial to Sharon, instead, it only exacerbates her negative emotions and pushes her into dangerous actions. Sharon has been under a lot of pressure after trying to cover up a secret sin involving Heather. Although she tries to control the situation, Cameron's shadow appears more and more clearly in her mind, making it difficult for her to distinguish between reality and illusion. This causes Sharon to lose control several times, and she even screams at Cameron in public, which may attract unwanted attention from those around her. One of the most terrifying scenarios is the possibility that Sharon will lose her temper and come clean about what she did to Heather. Sharon's anger could lead to her screaming about the cover-up, and even begging Cameron to stop mentally hounding her about it. This is the crux of the matter, a moment of carelessness could expose all the secrets Sharon has been trying to hide. What's worse is that Sharon isn't simply struggling with her own psychological conflicts. In a moment of paranoia or loss of control, Sharon may realize that someone has witnessed her confronting Cameron's hallucinations. And in this scenario, that witness is none other than Diane Jenkins Abbott, a character who is also having her own problems. Diane has begun to fear that her marriage to Jack Abbott may soon fall apart, as her relationship with her son Kyle Abbott has deteriorated significantly. This makes Diane a vulnerable target, and she may unwittingly fall victim to Sharon's struggles. In a sudden and stressful moment, Sharon may overreact when Diane catches her and in a panic, she may accidentally injure Diane. The result could be Diane falling into a coma, a terrible situation that Sharon did not want. In her chaotic state, Sharon may run away when she hears footsteps approaching, leaving Diane in danger. Diane's injury not only puts Sharon in a more difficult position, but also acts as a catalyst for a drastic change in the relationships within the Abbott family. Jack and Kyle, despite their many conflicts, may find Diane's critical condition a reason to bond. The father and daughter may put aside their differences to stay by Diane's bedside together, which could create an opportunity to mend their relationship. Meanwhile, Sharon will continue to deal with her own internal conflicts. What happened to Diane may cause Sharon to panic and lead her to make further bad decisions. She may have to run away from the consequences of her actions, which will only make the situation worse. Sharon will not only have to deal with Cameron's obsession, a manifestation of negative thoughts, but also with the real-life consequences of her actions. Although things may seem like a dead end, Diane's fight with Sharon may also be the tipping point for Diane to realize the true value of her marriage to Jack. This unexpected attack may be a big shock to Diane, but if she can overcome it, it may open up a new opportunity for her to save her marriage to Jack and mend her broken relationship with Kyle. Diane will realize that Jack's love is still there, and that Kyle, despite his conflict, is still her son, and that they both need her in their lives. This could be a turning point that helps Diane and the Abbots through this difficult time. Meanwhile, Sharon will have to deal with the consequences of harming Diane and continue to fight her own delusions. Ultimately, this story could be a powerful lesson about the dangers of letting inner conflicts dictate your actions and your life. The story isn't over yet. Sharon can continue to run from the truth, or she can face up to her actions and find redemption. Diane can recover and the Abbots can heal, but it all depends on how these characters choose to deal with the dangerous situations they face. The trials continue, and that means the lives of Sharon, Diane, Jack and Kyle will continue to be caught in a whirlwind of conflict and unforeseen events. Subscribe to Yonder for the latest news on our channel.